Hi, I'm Jill Rizika, the Public Information Officer for the County of Lake. The storm has dropped a significant amount of rainfall, but I think we're all really, really fortunate right now that um, the winds didn't kick in. Uh, I think everyone's breathing a huge sigh of relief up with that. Now what we're dealing with is we're really dealing with the um, heavy localized flooding and how it's particularly um, impacting our road situation. The road situation is so dynamic it's really hard at one moment to tell you uh, this is going on or that's going on. In fact, I was just talking with Mike Stone who is our um, fire and rescue coordinator and until we have sort of a significant dry period it's really hard to say this is what's going on and this is what's going on overall we're just seeing a lot of localized flooding um, we are seeing some landslides uh, it, it, it is a mess out there and people should be incredibly careful driving and what are the hardest hit areas in the county I, um, from my understanding, the hardest hit areas are uh, the city of Clear Lake right now. I have been working in an office all day and I haven't actually been out there. Uh, but, but the um, reports that we're getting is that Clear Lake is really dealing with some sort, some significant localized flooding down there. Joan Phillippe, I'm the city manager here in Clear Lake. Um, we are having obviously a fairly significant rain and windstorm. The flooding in the city has been rather significant. We've been out all morning evaluating, uh, determining where our problem areas are, which primarily have been in the village area, um, over in Burns Valley area. Uh, the senior center was not able to be evacuated for, or to be used as an evacuation center uh, due to the flooding. We can't get people in there. Um, so Lower Lake High School has opened their gymnasium uh, for those that need to have a place to that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty bad here. Yeah. So I mean, just a lot of water, a lot of inundation with water right now. So, and we're trying to stay ahead of everything. So, but other than that, I'm moving on to the next plant right here. So, thanks. Uh, the worst impacted areas have been uh, primarily the village area at this point, uh, uh, out toward the end of Lakeshore Drive, toward the Deesnack, um, some of the area in the uh, tree main streets, right uh, down the street. In front of fire station between the fire station and city hall what people should do is stay at home uh, not get out in the weather unless they absolutely positively have to those that are out to please drive slowly through flooded areas we're finding people driving through them too fast and that does push the water up into residences um, so we would like to see people be respectful of uh, their neighbors and not drive too fast through those flooded areas in Kelseyville was actually isolated there was no way in or out of Kelseyville at Lakeside Heights, there is movement in the hills. The soil is over the K rails, and there has been a report that the soil is um, to the center of Hill Road, center of the road, and that's the information I do have right now on Lakeside Heights. Public Works Foreman. Uh, we've had guys out since about four this morning. Where we're standing here, we'd probably be about waist deep in water right now, about two hours ago, three hours ago. Uh, luckily, the lake's down, so all the creeks are subsiding pretty quick. We've had uh, Martin Street's been closed all night, all morning, 10th Street, 9th Street, uh, 16th Street intersection over there by the Mormon Church. It's just, uh, like I say, it's just lucky the lake's down and the water has somewhere to go, you know, I mean, and that's about it. We've got guys just doing cleanup now. We're out checking the drains in case we get another blast coming through tonight or today, and hopefully we can handle what's coming next.